Fáilte chuig rán Gaeilge, your go-to Irish grammar website. Today we're going to focus on the Mokanilach. This is the conditional tense. So basically, what would happen on the condition that something else happens first? So first things first. Just like the I'm sure chatje, the Mokanilach puts an ahru tusig or frontal change on the verb. And the best part is, the frontal changes are the same as in the I'm sure Verbs that start with a kunsen take a shevu. Verbs that start with a gutta take a d apostrophe before the vowel. And verbs that start with an f change to d apostrophe fh. This always happens with regular verbs, regardless of the number of syllables. Next, let's look at one syllable lahan verbs. We have to remember the rule lahan la lahan, quail la quail. There are different endings depending on who we are talking about. Instead of may, we add f-a-i-n-n to the end of the verb, like doghin, I would leave. Instead of to, we add f-a-father to the end of the verb, dog fa, you would leave. We add f-a-d-h followed by she or she for he or she, dog ok she, dog ok she, he would leave or she would leave. Instead of shin, we add f-a-i-m-i-s to the end of the verb, dog famish, we would leave. We add f-a-d-h followed by shiv for you plural, dog ok shiv, you would leave. And instead of sheed, we add f-a-i-d-i for the s to the end of the verb. Dog for dish. They would leave. Still sticking with one syllable verbs, let's look at quail verbs. Instead of may, we add f i n n to the end of the verb. Rihin. I would run. Instead of to, we add f e a father to the end of the verb. Rifa. You would run. We add f e a d h followed by she or she for he or she. Rock she, rock she, he would run, she would run. Instead of shin, we add fimish, f i m i s to the end of the verb. Rifimish, we would run. We add f e a d h followed by shiv for you plural. Rock shiv, you would run. And instead of sheed, we add f i d i for the s to the end of the verb. Refidish, they would run. That's all the shula awan verbs out of the way. So let's move on to land verbs with gahula. Instead of may, we add o father i n n to the root of the verb, like hyanoan, I would buy. Instead of to. We add o father f a father to the root of the verb. Hiano fa, you would buy. We add o father d h followed by she or she for he and she, like hiano ok she, hiano ok she, he but he would buy, she would buy. Instead of shin, we add o father i m i s to the root of the verb. Hiano amish. We would buy. We add o father d h followed by shiv for you plural. Hiano ok shiv. You would buy. Instead of sheed, we add o father i d i father s to the root of the verb. Hiano adish. They would buy. The last endings we need to look at are for quail verbs with ga hiola. Instead of may, we add. E O I N N to the root of the verb. Dimroan, I would play. Instead of two, we add E O F A father to the root of the verb. Dimro fa, you would play. We add E O D H followed by she or she for he or she. Dimro ak she, dimro ak she, he would play, she would play. Instead of shin, we add e o i m i s to the root of the verb. 
Dimroel Mish, we would play. We add E O D H followed by Shiv for you plural. Dimroel Shiv, you would play. And instead of Sheid, we add E O I D I father S to the root of the verb. Dimroel Dish, they would play. And now all that's left to do is to ask and answer questions in the Mokanilok. To ask a question, we simply use on followed by an uru, but not on d, t, or s. To answer a question positively, we use the standard ahru tusig. And to answer negatively, we use ni followed by a shevu on a chunsen. The word for if in the Mokanilok is da, d a father. This word is always followed by an uru. And the word for if not is mura, also followed by an uru. Agashine. <laughs>